Hi kids, children, adults, grandparents, people of all ages. You might be a cat, you might be a dog, or anything in between, or an inanimate object. Today, I am going to show you how to create an electronic checkbook uh, via a spreadsheet application. Um, I'm going to show you specifically using Microsoft Office 2010 Professional Excel. Um, you could use OpenOffice.org or any of the other software suites for Office related applications out there. Uh, you don't even have to probably use a spreadsheet application, but it works for me best to do it that way. Uh, there's many different ways you can create uh, your checkbook electronically. Um, I am a nerd and I don't like using a pen more than I have to uh, so therefore I created one for myself I'm going to show you a basic form of one uh, but like I said you can create it however you want Well, within reason of course you can really do crazy things with it uh, so anyway without further ado we're going to create it so there's the beast. It's getting old now, you know. Uh, in about two and a half months, that beast there will be three years old. It's getting old. I don't intend on replacing it yet. Frightening, isn't it? Okay, anyway. So there's said screen. And... I'm going to have to probably play the adjustment game somewhat with this. And bingo. Something like that. And no, I'm not advertising for Samsung, even though you clearly see the, the brand of my monitor there. Uh, hopefully this isn't looking too angled or jagged. Hey. Yee. Hey. Trying to do my best that I can to not cut off anything. Since this eyesight camera doesn't have wide angle lens. Okay, so hopefully that will work well. I think it will. So, I'm going to go into Excel or whatever your spreadsheet application might be. Okay. All right. Cell A1, which we're on, I'm going to zoom in here a little bit so you can see it a little better. Uh, we're going to put uh, code slash check number. I'm going to put in date. I'm going to put in with draw deposit. Uh, let's insert one more here. Let's put in uh, description. Okay, you'll highlight those, resize that, um, let's format this column, the date column to be date, of course, uh, withdraw and deposit columns, we'll format them to be currency, okay, and let's left align all of these and center vertically. Okay. So here, that was my chair. That was not what you thought it could have been. Um, here in column G, we're going to put, um, let's see, we're going to put uh, total balance. And below that, we're going to put uh, total deposits, total with draws, and down a little bit further we're going to put starting balance. That way if you've already got a checking account and you've started one anyway, you could put at least that starting balance in there so you don't have to re-enter everything. Now if you choose to re-enter everything so you have exactly everything that was on your checkbook on here, fine, but if you just want to start it from going forward, 
you we'll put your starting balance in here, which is what we're going to do with this. Um, I'll select these cells, and we're going to make them currency as well. And let's make column one, the whole thing, big, er, make it bold, and size 14 to emphasize them. And that should be big as well. Okay. And let's make this, let's actually make this black for highlight and white text. Oh great, we got a cat in the room. But she left. Okay. Um, anyway. Now all we need to do is for total deposits here. Which would be in, in this particular case, cell H2. Um, of course it'll be, it could vary depending on what you do with your spreadsheet. We're going to do a sum function. And since it's a deposit, we're going to do call me and enter. And for withdrawals, we're going to do sum, and we're going to sum up column B, which will be the withdrawal column. Uh, total balance, I'm going to do equals starting balance, which is H5, plus deposits, which is H2, minus withdrawals, which is H3. There we go. Um, for withdrawals, let's make the text blue. Deposits, we'll make the text red. Other way around. Let's do it the other way around. Withdrawals red, deposits blue. And we'll do the same over here. Deposits blue, withdrawals red. Okay. We can, let's change this text here on the headers back to white, or the headings. Um, okay, so starting balance, let's just say we had $1,500 to start in our, in our checking account, or carry over anyway. Um, here you see total balance pound signs, that means we need to exp expand our cell a little bit so you can see the whole contents. So there we go. Alright, so for this here we're going to just put in well, I don't know we'll just put in check 1001 we're going to say it was on 21711 and the description is uh, food land I don't know if that exists or not I'm just making it up or I think I'm making it up if it really is a company that exists or whatever I apologize I'm not stealing your name I'm not trying intentionally um, <laughs> withdrawal no, oh, let's say we got $127.65 in groceries. So, as you can see, there's our balance. It's dropped down to $1372.35. Okay, now let's do debit uh, 217.11 again. Uh, sugar world, because I love sugar. Um, sugar. Um, withdrawal, let's do uh, uh, $14 and, oh, Hmm, 93 cents. We're just making this up, obviously. Uh, and then let's do a deposit. So let's say that's today, which is 218.11. Deposit from e Just because. Well, let's be in description even further so you can see more of that. And remember, it's a deposit. Uh, let's say we're really rich and we, we made a deposit of. Uh, Seventy-three dollars, eight seventy-three hundred eighteen dollars and um, forty-nine cents. So now our balance is up to eighty-six seventy-five ninety-one. So this is basically a general, simple Excel spreadsheet as a checkbook. Um, they can get a lot more complex than this. Um, I have created one before where it actually breaks down the types of expenses even so you would actually have another category saying expense type and it'd be utilities phone cable groceries health care whatever 
and it would break down everything so you knew where your money was going. I've gone that far with one of these before. Uh, of course, it's a lot more complicated. It takes a lot more steps. You need more knowledge with Excel. Uh, and you also need to be pretty creative to make it work, uh, however it can be done. Okay, so let's just save this Excel spreadsheet. Uh, I don't even know what I'm doing. Okay, save. <laughs> Put on the desktop. Tools, general options, we're gonna set a password. So we're gonna set a password to open it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And you gotta put it in again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, and save. Now some of you that are security experts are gonna say, well that doesn't guarantee it's safe, but it certainly is a an advantage for somebody that doesn't know what they're doing getting in there and messing up your checkbook. So I just named it CB for checkbook. Uh, so now if we want to reopen our checkbook, before we can view it, we got to put in a password. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And there we go. There's a checkbook. Uh, theoretically, you could put both in the same column. I don't know why. Let's say you had a Another deposit. You had a deposit with Foodland as well for $65.33. There you go. It still adjusts it accordingly. Uh, so we'll get rid of that. The cat's going nuts out there, by the way. Uh, so we're done with that now. So. So this is Nern Long. And I approve this message, as I always do, and always will, in the past, present, and, believe it or not, future! So, I'm just JoJo the Monkey Boy. There are other ways I'm sure you can create these. It doesn't have to probably be an Excel spreadsheet, but that's how I like to do things, because I'm a nerd. Okay, bye-bye.